Minecraft is one of the most famous games of all time. From exploring your world to starting a survival world, Minecraft has it all. You go to the most beautiful world and you wouldn't even know it. From rivers to caves, it can be one of the prettiest things ever. Maybe like survival. You start by punching your first tree, then move to exploring caves for bright resources to get through the game. It's not impossible to die though. Mobs spawn in caves and could easily take you out. They spawn outside at night as well. If you're not careful, you can meet your end. Hardcore Minecraft is Minecraft on its hardest difficulty, and you only have one life. And lots of players play on this difficulty. Some players took it up a notch and played without natural regeneration, meaning regeneration was very difficult. This is called Ultra Hardcore, and we recently played it on Mr. Match channel, and we also did that earlier too, two months ago actually. And in that one and in this one as well, I recorded my POV. Here is what happened. Hey, it's Volton. Just so you know, all the all the footage and also the intro part was recorded back in June. Even I got bored of working on this and then forgot about it for a few months. So yeah, it's now August. So yeah, it, now season one was not recorded recently anymore. But nonetheless, we shall push forward, and I hope you enjoy my perspective of season one. When I spawned in, there were no trees in sight, only a single pig. Thankfully, I found wood and stone together somewhere else. I need to find resources as quick as possible for the long run. I quickly found iron in the ground, and grabbed underwater iron for... some reason. Probably could've found a real cave somewhere, but hey, I'll take it. While I was smelting iron, though, the worst possible thing happened. My internet crashed. Your internet crashing in the UHC is very bad, especially if you have made it obvious where you are. And in my case, I had a broken furnace which is now on the floor, a placed crafting table, and a destroyed dirt block. It was very obvious I was here, which is bad. Another player could find me and wait until I rejoined, or I could be engulfed by the world border. Thankfully, I was okay, but another user, Frog Balloon, wasn't. When I rejoined, I saw the first death message in the chat. Frogloon was murdered by Insta. I had to move. Staying in one place was a bad idea. After traveling on land, I located an ocean which I began to traverse. The barrel be a little bit of this. Eventually I landed in Australia and continued my travels. However, I had my first scare with the border. Not long enough after I landed, I saw the border. I quickly fled in your direction and just decided to go back on the boat. For day two, for a while, I was rowing my boat. It was taking me a while because of my game lagging. I rode my boat faster than the game could load chunks into server. I didn't notice a ruined portal underwater, so I went for it and got a golden apple for it. And that was nice, so I was able to get some hearts back. However, that didn't last long because later when I tried to get iron from underwater, I drowned with a trident attack. I lost health from that. After that, I kept going my boat. At the end of the day, though, I was able to find an island with a big stone patch with a lot of iron resources. I spent the rest of the day by collecting iron. I got enough iron to go caving, so that's what I did. I then tunneled down hoping to find diamonds. I was successfully able to find a cave a few minutes in. And while exploring, I found this. Of course I find fucking redstone. Oh my god! Please die, Robbie. No, you found the deep dark, didn't you? I found a deep dark while exploring. I, however, I thought it was only that one singular cave. But I was wrong. Because then I found the big part of the biome. Actually, no, no, no. Not just that. But I even found this. Yeah, that is... <gasps> oh my god! Hey, no! No! That's no! Happening. What the no fuck? Way. Dude! Dude! This is a first for the UHC. What a plot twist. This is legit the first ancient city I found myself. Thing is, usually you need much more armor freeze, or else you'll probably die. 
And since it's a UHC, I could have legit died insanely easily here. I contemplated whether I should take the risk of going down there and getting good loot like diamond armor and notch apples, or play it safe and find diamonds myself. I chose the former. I slowly made my way down there and began crouching around ancient city. I had never felt so tense before. I could start finding diamond pants, but my luck ran dry. It's the final day. I was out of time. By this point, Insta was hunting me down, as we were the last two people on the server still alive. Earlier, I had made the mistake of marking my path with torches and not hiding my tracks, so he was surely going to find me. I had to be quick and get out of there. But it was too late. Insta had found me, and was in the ancient city with me. I saw he now had lava in his possession, and I saw where he got it. He was roughly 50 blocks away. I had to be careful. I tried towering up to one of the ancient city's pillars, but Insta took notice of that and took advantage of my bridges, and now it was time to fight. One problem, though. Remember how I crashed earlier? Well, my crappy internet that day failed me again and made me lag, causing a repeat of last time. I was yet again the final kill. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it took so long. As I said earlier, all this stuff was recorded back in June, it's now August, I took too long to edit this video. Since then, there have been literally three more UHCs, and I participated in two of them, though they weren't really content worthy in my opinion. So if I do another UHC POV video, I'm not sure. Well, I'll have to wait for when season five starts, and if I'll if I'll have time for it. I'm sorry that this one was a bit shorter than the last one. I've taken on a habit of now not including the less important stuff and focusing on the important events. In the meantime, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.